this is a pot that a crab is going to go in. So I'm going to be cooking a crab, but before I can cook the crab, I got to kill it. Now, normally we used to, that's just water. I'm not going to do anything. The most important ingredient when cooking crab, you guessed it. No, maybe you didn't. Salt. It doesn't have to be ionized, it can be whatever. But, yes, a lot of salt. Okay. That's really the only thing you need to put in the cooking solution is salt. Now you can put spices and those sort of things, but I just say go with the taste of the crab. Say hello to the crab. This is Herman crab, and Herman crab is about to die. But we're going to mortalize Herm Herman crab on the internet. So he's still barely alive. Now the thing is, he's been on ice for the last ooh, 10 hours. I saw him move here a bit. Come on, Herman, wake up. Yeah, he, he's not much alive. So, But then, anyways, the procedure that I'm going to perform is um, people used to throw crab just directly into the water, but I'm actually going to uh, rip his back off when he's still alive. Does that sound like a fun thing to do? I don't think so. But anyways, this is the recommended way to clean, clean a crab instead of throwing them into hot boiling water. They working. This is the execution of a crab. This is the preferred way to kill a crab before you cook them. Now, I don't know if I agree with it, so I'm putting it on video. We used to cook them before we did this, but we're gonna be back this guy right now. Now he's still alive, so he's gonna, don't know what it. So there's the inside guts. Okay, we normally, like I said, we used to, was recommended we always do this. Now I can cut this guy in half. See, I'm just gonna cut him down the center here. I would break him normally, but given that he's still moving, okay, then we just break him in half. And that's how you kill a crab. Uh, that's the modern way of doing it. Like I said, we used to cook them before you did that, but now they're recommending you clean them before you cook them. Now the Asians still actually cook them uh, and then eat the juices inside here. They'll eat a bunch of the juices. This juices from here will fall into there and we'll make a nice soupy sort of thing and they'll eat that. So you will see Asians doing that. Anyways, that's how you kill a crab. Okay, now after uh, nine minutes in boiling water, we uh, take her out. Now, I always recommend cooling it down right after, so I will pour it in a strainer and then run a little, not very much cool water over it. Okay. You want to stop it from cooking. So that's the only reason doing that. It actually, I, I don't like ever putting uh, fresh water on crab because it it leaches the the salt out, and since it's a ocean-going fish, it's uh, always a little salty. It should be, and. I don't know. This I don't think it was the greatest in terms of meat. I, I can see it's pretty hollow in here, in this part right there. Yeah, and um, it really shouldn't be if it's a fully. I mean, it wasn't a soft shell crab, but it was certainly not a, a lot of meat in it. Anyways, that's what I do with crab, and that's basically done. Okay, I'm gonna see it. See if I can show you this. Um... I really wanted to show you why soft shell crabs, people often say, oh, I couldn't keep the crab because they're soft shell. What do they mean by soft shell? Well, this is actually what soft shell is. You can see that the, the meat isn't really hanging off the, the shell very well. There's, there's not a lot of meat. Now, this was actually not a really noticeably soft shell crab, but um, I do believe that it definitely wasn't a very hard shell crab, and this is why... Um, some crabs don't have a lot of meat in them is because they're soft shell. They're too close to after they've molted. 
and it's kind of hard to tell sometimes and anyways I want to see the size difference there see how shrunken that uh, piece of meat seems it should seem more full and more the shape of the actual joint it was taken out of mm -hmm.